Vet and Nigeria. I mean, is that the team you you are talking about? Uh, it was very disappointing. <laughs> <laughs> Never expected I was happy. it. Uh, because if you watch the match between the Catalans, that was a different ball game entirely. Mm. Because seriously, I believe that match boosted our patience, and that was what I was expecting to get from the Eagles. But watching the Cape Verde match, seriously, I I can't really say what came over them what they were playing. Cape Verde, I believe they should have won that game. Mm. But striking force in front was not really that good. If Nigeria should go in that way, then uh, I believe group stage we should be out. But I believe we are not going in like that. Amen to that. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no, show some love now. <laughs> oh, more Nigeria. But that will carry last. For yeah. <laughs> For South Africa. There is a saying in Nigeria, Nigeria no they carry last. Oh, this time if you too much not draw. <laughs> Even the draw we are in front. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> so, <laughs> so I believe we are coming out great this time. They, yeah. We shouldn't judge the team from the Cape Verde game. Okay. They played other series of game and they really came out strong. So this last one shouldn't be the yastic mm. to judge the team. Okay. Now, for just someone, he's come up a lot. You know, he's he's been given the flag a lot. He's taken a lot of it about his uh, commitment to the Black Stars. They say when he's in the Stars, he's quite lazy. But when he plays for club, he's very effective. I think different positions, uh, you know. Definitely. I, I really want to see Kwejo Asamoah burst out in full, you know, flavor and full color when he comes to the Black Stars team. Um, I think that, you know, he's giving close to like 75%. I, I want him to push it up a bit more. He's got a lot of energy. Uh, he adds a lot of bite to um, the front line, and it's very important that we have him. Um, I, I wanted to disagree with um, DJ Amani. Amani because um, I think that that, that you know, that, uh, you know, defense position that he was given by you Coach Kosiapia. You want be up front? Well, yeah. You, you see... It, it was based on what he's been doing. I'm not the coach, but I, I probably want to guess that it was based on what he does at Juventus. But Juventus play according to a structured system, okay, where you, you, you fall back deep into the fence and then one minute you are there uh, in front. You know, it's, it's an undefined uh, thing, really, and, and it's, it's, it's a varied system. But when, uh, you know, uh, you're bringing a, uh, you know, somebody who's very, very strong up front, uh, deep, in, deep into defense like that, and you realize that his recovery rate was not the best because he was struggling. So if you have a speed star, let's say you had an Odemwinje in the tournament and Ghana was playing Nigeria and you had to play him on the flanks, look, you'd have so much trouble because when he tries to race up and down with you, you're really going to feel it in your skin. And I think that uh, Kujua Samuel's strength is playing up front. Now, I'll give you an example. When Ghana played in 2008, Michael Essien had to be dropped into that, uh, you know, back four position uh, when Ghana played against Cameroon. And we saw what the results were. Of course, a certain Andre Didiayu was brought in relatively unknown in the Black Stars team then. And... This we're, we're reaping from from the benefits now. We've got an an under twenty World Cup from it, okay? Because Michael Essien originally started as a defender, but then uh, along the lines he went into you know that attacking midfield role, and I think that he's done very well. So I I, I thought that in two thousand and eight, if Claude de Hora had brought um, you know Ahmed Baruso. Ahmed and Pema Baruso into that position in which he played Michael Essien and pushed Michael Essien into his regular position behind the attack. He would have done way better. So, Are you um, taking coaching lessons? Well, 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 well. <laughs> <laughs> this is my job. Huh? Okay. Let's go for some messages here. Chum Lee. Hey. Chum Lee says that I love the set. TV3, first in his best in entertainment. Your show, Debi Keke. These days, when you say you be PKK, you have to be careful. Are you referring to? I want to believe you are talking about MTN. Kwabdon Mari says, I'm loving your new set. Thank you. Nana Kwesi up here says, uh, Nana, but you look delicious. <laughs> okay. And uh, he says, We won't miss the day with our true dazzling soul tantalizing with the ball. <laughs> uh, Mr. Hood says that, well, okay, I'll, I'll ignore your message. Um, DJ Amani, this is from Chris. Drizzy, uh, AFC, who says, what's up, DJ Armani? What's um, up? Mensa York says, Nanaba, tell the Niger guy that Niger go carry last. <laughs> he the <did> joke. <laughs> <laughs> um, Patience says, beautiful set. Um, Kobe says, you mentioned me during the commercials. Let me die now. Huh? Really? And then, um, Nana Mante says, this Anago guy the joke. 
<laughs> and, people uh, think you're not going to win anything. <laughs> okay, this one here is going to uh, Nata Ato from Felix Asamo, who says that, you know, but anytime I listen to this Nata Ato guy, I pause to think. We really have a lot of sports guys in this country. Yes, you didn't know. Um, he's very good. I love his analysis, but I have a feeling he supports Manchester City. Oh. Why? <laughs> How? He's actually a fan of the uh, latest best friends of Swansea, Chelsea. Um, <laughs> There's a second he's getting leg. a Mitsubishi. Mitsu. Listen, listen. There's a Mitsubishi. second leg coming up. No, no, no. I'm Nana, a... but, and I'm pleased to meet you. We'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> Right, you're welcome back to the Diva Show. And if you're wondering what to do tonight, you need to be at the Silver Bed at the Accra Mall. Catch the contract. I'm going to be there. I just can't have enough of um, Ivan Oko's, um comedy. Uh, you've got to be there tonight. Catch it at the Silver Bed, 6.45 p.m. and then 9 p.m. Anyway, so earlier in the week, we caught up with Stephen Appiah to talk about the African Cup of Nations. But before we go... Um, Stephanie also says, Why is so cool? Tessa Benkwine. Uh, dance and make her dance. Huh? She understands it. Are you okay? <laughs> All right. This message came in uh, from one of your people. Yaya Tunde says, uh, Madam, I, I'm watching. Okay, I'm just going to speak good English here. It's your pigeon, your pigeon style. He says, I'm watching your show in Lagos now on DSTV. What are you talking about? The Nigeria won't go far. <laughs> Tell her. <laughs> Tell her. <laughs> no, but we have Nigerian sorry, uh, solidarity in this country. So, I mean, anytime Nigeria is playing, trust me, we're always behind them. Yeah, yeah but they are never behind us. That's the problem. Um, that's what involved. you think? Oh, yeah. During the World Cup. Uh -huh. Did you yeah, support them? Yeah. Very much behind Ghana. We were the only African very much, in it, so. yeah. very much behind Ghana. We had no option. <laughs> and uh, the relationship is getting quite strong mm -hmm. and even the distance i'm surprised we call ourselves neighbors yeah it's interesting you know nobody yeah. really knows that a lot of people who may not re really remember that yeah. there are two countries, countries between Ghana and Nigeria. 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 Nigeria that's true yeah. we are not necessarily neighbors yeah. Yeah. nowadays yeah, you get into really yeah you get into close. lagos and you know somebody can easily ask her to sing and know everybody yeah. knows yeah. you're yeah. from Accra. Yeah. Yeah. you know it's cool it's, it's really right cool. anyway so let's hear steven up here We are presently at the residence of Stephen Apia, former Ghana captain, described as Ghana's most inspirational captain. He led Ghana to the 2006 World Cup, and since then, Stephen's name has never been off the lips of Ghanaians. Well, we are here with him. We're going to talk to him about the African Cup of Nations because Ghana has to make us proud this time. It's been almost 30 years, Stephen. We haven't won a trophy. Will this team deliver the trophy to God? Well, I think that we have to, at times, we have to exercise patience and take it match after match because it's not that easy. Uh, when we talk, we all, yeah, of course, we all hoping that they will bring the cup or Ghana will win the cup in, in these years, but still, still, it's not happening. Um, yeah, we hope that in South Africa, the guys, they can, they can do something, they can bring the cup, but we have to know that it's not, it's not that easy, as we see do you think that the, the players appreciate that indeed Ghanaians just don't have that energy to be patient anymore? Well, at times, yeah, going to the pitch, I think that uh, we all talk to ourselves. We, we put on only one thing to go and win the games and bring the cup to Ghana. But at times, we have to know that the teams that they qualify to come and play the competition, they today are good. So it's a big, it's a big challenge. But uh, I don't see why we can't win the cup this uh, this time because uh, talking about 2010 Angola we, we got to the finals we couldn't we couldn't grab the cup um, Equatorial Guinea and uh, Gabon uh, we got to 
semi-finals we, we we couldn't we couldn't get to the final so i think that uh it's not it's not that bad let's hope let's hope because uh what i experienced 2010 during the world cup in south africa i think that we have a lot of fans there so we, we will get get a lot of support there it's not far from home Ghanaians will travel to go and watch the games and yeah let's hope let's hope you have been a captain before you know the players very well do you think asamojan has that leadership skill to hold the players together well i think that yeah he can do it because uh he's the he's the funniest guy in camp he's the one who tried to crack jokes and all that and i think that uh talking about uh captainship is just a band it's just a band everybody can wear it but i think the most important thing is uh what i want to tell us why he should let the players respect him that's the most important thing and i think that uh being the captain for the black stars is not that difficult because all the players you know you, you have been in camp with us everybody is cool uh, we do things together, we crack deals together, there's no division. So I think that uh, he's going to be a successful captain. When you talk about the Cup of Nations, then you mentioned Asamoja, and everybody wants to talk about penalties. Asamoja didn't get close to our penalties, which is quite harsh on him. But, uh, you know, if you had the opportunity to talk to Ghanaians about penalties, what would you tell them? Well, I think that uh, at times we're trying to be a little bit selfish because I remember the game against, during the World Cup, the game against um, Serbia. He's the one who shot the penalty. Uh, he scored against Australia. He scored. So at times it happened in games. Uh, Messi and the rest, they all miss it. We have to, we have to, we don't have to uh, bash the guy. I mean, Asamoajan. The most important thing, we have to support him. We have to give them the, we have to give him the confidence, the courage. So next time he can, he can, he can put the ball, uh, ball back to the net. So we have to just give him the confidence. Another player who is mostly criticized is Kojo Samoa. You see him play uh, for Juventus and he's excellent. He comes to the Black Stars and people want to call him a lazy boy. Sometimes they say he's not committed. You know, what should Kojo Samoa be doing in this team? Well, I think that when it comes to Kojo Samoa, uh, he's not my pali pali. But I will, I, will, I, will, I, will, I will do everything to defend him. Uh, we have to know one thing that European style of play is different from African style of play because you playing maybe two in the midfield, you have your role or you have an area that you have to move in. But when you come to Africa, at times all of us we, we find it difficult because you will see some players that everybody is going all around the pitch. There is no, I'm not saying. I'm not trying to say that there's no discipline, but it's different. It's a different style of play. And we have to know that, uh, as you said, in Juventus, he's, he's doing marvelous. Uh, we have to be proud of him. Uh, we have to give him the support. We have to, we have to exercise patience, and I think that he will, he will make it. But trust me, playing in Africa is not that easy. Now, Ghana's biggest threats in this Cup of Nations, um, we've played, I'm sure you've played against most of these countries before. Which particular countries would you say can stop Ghana from, you know, winning this trophy? Um, what do you make of this, um, you know, axing from the tournament this time? Well, um, uh, I've been hearing about people, thousands of people, everybody is saying his opinion. Um, I, haven't, I haven't read anything on the, on the net or on, on newspaper. Uh, I haven't heard about the day, uh, not the, 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 the GFA or the coach. So uh, as for that one, I, don't, I, I can't say much, but I think that uh, he's, he's a good player and then uh, we, we would love to see him a plane, but it's, it's the decision from the coach or the GFA. So as for that one, I don't want to go to that area. And knowing very well that uh, just about a year ago they couldn't get to the final, what would be the mood in the camp this time? You know that you're going to a tournament, 24 or 24 million population you are part of the team so you know that you have to give another 20 percent not 100 percent the mood is going to be the same like always and i think that one thing that i'm scared when i'm playing against Cody when the rest you relax and you just play your game but playing against niger congo and these kind of teams i don't i don't like it at all because yeah, because you don't know them, you don't know their style of play, you don't know the players. Like if, if you give me Yaya Toure or you give me Zokora, I know how to handle him because I know how he plays. But some, and always it's like that, you, you can see that the big teams, they always struggle with the small teams. So that's, that's my fear. But 
I think that we have to, as I said, we have to take it match after match and we can we can do something. Thank you. We didn't hear to hear the beer for the people, huh? Sitting from across an acre and we sell them to the maker. Don't be eight a man of bad, bad. Right, so that was Stephen up here there talking to us and uh, his little Vanessa, such a sweet little girl. You've met her. Yeah, yeah, Vanessa is sweet. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> She's always, you know, around the microphone. And yeah. I'm sure she'd have a lot of nice stories to tell her friends when she gets into, you know, I'm, I'm upper primary sure. school yeah. and, you know, she's growing up. But what do you think about Stephen's submissions about the black stars? Well, sure. Look, it's always good to have it from the experience point of view. And, um, you know, it's always, especially for the kind of role that Stephen played. You know, he started his Nations Cup experiences on a very jerky note mm -hmm. when Ghana tried to qualify for Tunisia 2004 and it didn't happen, you know. And he was telling me that, um, you know, God being so good, for one reason or the other, he didn't get too much criticism on the streets of Accra. He didn't get too much bashing that, as for you, dear, you, you came and, you know, you took the captain's band and see what's happening to us. But everybody took it cool. And he also decided that, look, let me bring the guys together. Let's do this. And that's how come the magic started working for the team a year later after that Nations Cup. And then Your you know, watch we is on TV. My watch. Uh, yeah. How much what? do you pay for that? Which, which brand is that? Um, uh, my mom will not forgive me if I mention how much ah! I pay. <laughs> Okay, we'll keep it. We'll keep it. It's a secret. It's a secret. You tell me after the show. I will. But it's I a will. lovely watch. Thank you very I much. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, you, you know. guy. <laughs> you know, so, so, I mean, Stephen has been there before. I mean, I just wish that he could, you know, do something a little more. I don't know what kind of motivation he he's been given. should go there, inspire the boys in camp. Well, well, he can do that. And he plans, he says that he's planning to go there. So if it does happen, fine. It'll be good for the boys to see him, you know, because, look, they respect him. He brings a certain level of inspiration into the team and it's very very healthy you know and look all over the uh, all over the continent there's a new emergence everybody is now realizing that look it's good to always put the job in the hands of those who've been there before mm -hmm. look at nigeria for instance you know jj okocha is in there there's a yeah. committee that manages yeah. the national team jj okocha is playing a role stephen keshi himself is the national team coach you know some national former national players are in there um cameroon for instance who are not in the nation's cup rigobert song who's the most capped Thank player God. yeah mm -hmm. he's the most capped player in nigeria he's the team manager of the yeah. of the Cameroonian national team and you have you know you, you have that running around the continent Talk it's about a bit. he and like can still have something in common you know the last time I saw him at the conference that I, I, I thought it was like it okay. must be the hair yeah, it's the <laughs> but hey, Rigobert Song is a gentleman. He's you the know, man. Yeah, know. you know you, you see that rugged look, that yeah. bad boy look on the yeah. pitch. But hey, when you're with him, he's a gentleman. Let me come to you. You listen to our former captain mm -hmm. that Nigeria is afraid of. I mean, you see him and still you shake. I mean, I accept it is true. <laughs> he knows what he went through. Yeah. Whenever he's playing through with Nigeria, he, he, yeah. Um, I hear you now. You, you should. I, well, not now. I, I, people are thinking that you should be rechristened Super Chickens. Anyway, that's your opinion of former Super Eagles, but not the present one. Okay. Uh, the Super Eagles of present has been really rebuilt, as I said, uh, with the tactically skilled uh, Europeans, those who play outside the shores, and the locally based ones. Um, they are really doing a lot. And uh, with the way the Nigerians are bringing in hands of people who have been there before. Stephen Keshi won it in 1994. And uh, these guys, I will boost in that morale into these youngsters mm -hmm. to repeat what they did during their own time. So I believe history might repeat itself mm -hmm. with these guys presently. Okay. How, uh, in Ghana, I mean, we are very vocal. I mean, when you listen to, uh, you know, radio, you tune into radio, you watch TV, the venom sometimes, you know, when the stars don't do well. Do you have that in Nigeria? So a lot. I, I have a feeling it will be worse. A whole lot of it. Like the um, Cape Verde match, mm. while it was even 25 minutes played, <laughs> if you hear the comments coming out from Nigerians, these guys are chickens, they are super vultures, a whole lot of it on the web. As in, it, it's... It was than this place, actually. Seriously. Yeah. It's nothing compared to that side. All right. DJ Amani, Stephen Apia's uh, submissions from the start. Um, well, he said a lot. He actually said a lot. And I wish um, the Black Stars listened to exactly what he said. Because the thing is, 
he he has been with the Black Stars for a while, so he knows how it works, how to make the team move forward. He knows how to inspire them. What I'm wondering is, like uh, Nat said earlier on, would he be going with them to South Africa? I think it, it would be a very good thing if he should go with them to inspire them, give them that motivation necessary for them to move forward. Because sometimes it's not just about skills or your strength. Motivation also comes into play, especially when um, players are looking at um, bonuses, they are like, "Hey, where is our bonus? When is yeah. it coming? If it's not coming, we are not going to play." Togo. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> if it's not coming, we are yeah. not going to play. You know, but you you need a leader who can guarantee you or give you that surety that look, all is well. Just go out there and give your maximum best, and we shall still to the top. Okay. There's a message here from a gentleman called Dapo. Dapo Ayeleli. Dapo. Dapo. Okay, that's how you pronounce it. Dapo says, Ah ah, this Nigerian guy sitting there can't get up and slap this girl. <laughs> <laughs> Just having mercy on her, I'm a gentleman. So. Uh, exactly. I mean, it's football, but you know that's super easy. But, 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 hey, but hey, hey, you know, there's something, there's something we should never get wrong. There are similarities between the Nigerian, you know, team and the Ghana team. Mm. That, okay, a former national star is handling the team. A former national star it's with the guts to take major decisions exactly. and that is very very key look to drop to drop an odemwinje is yeah. not a, is not a joke because the guy has a lot of influence when he comes into the team, he adds to the dropped, team. Um, the yeah, guy. well 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 it was good but decision. well yeah bold decision and you see at the end of the day you need people like that to be able to drag you to that that you know that target that you want to to achieve and okay, it's very I'm, I'm gonna say something don't get offended but I mean, how can you drop Odemwinge? He's the most handsome guy in the team. No, but right? but hey, but 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 uh, well, I uh, look. At the end of the day, I, I, I'm just talking for the ladies. I mean, <laughs> I, I think that should be one of the reasons because maybe the ladies might start shouting his name and he will forget the ball on the. Oh, no, that's what it's spicy. That's what it's spicy. You know, when he has to say he runs faster. Anyway, let's move away from um, the African Cup of Nations and look at Super Sunday tomorrow. Uh, Man United, well, the important teams are playing tomorrow. Really? I know you won't be happy. Really? But United and Liverpool, still <laughs> the most intense fixture in the English Premier League. And then Arsenal, Manchester City. What do you think, Nat, is happening to Arsenal? Really, I, I know the Arsenal fans want Arsene Wenger out. I don't want him out. I think he's doing <laughs> us a favor. Yeah. Well, I, which team do you support, by the way? Barcelona. Okay, how convenient. Very, very convenient. <laughs> very convenient. <laughs> <laughs> no, but hey, at the end of the day, I, I just think that, um, you know, some. I think that I had this feeling last season. I thought that, look, um, Arsene Wenger has, had had his time with, with um, you know, Arsenal. So you also think he should go? Um, you know, this is the interesting thing about football. Do you remember the story of Michael Owen? He played so well for Liverpool yeah. at the point when he decided to move out the next season, Liverpool won another Champions League, mm -hmm. you know. Um, I just don't know what it is. The man says that, look, we're running this like a business. We don't want to be spending big. We discover the players who are relatively lowly placed, yeah. and we, 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 you know, we, we, we push them there. But, look, at the end of the day, maybe there should be change. Maybe there should just be a new sense of leadership. Somebody who just, you know, drive, you know, drive the players to a, 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 towards a different purpose. I, I just don't know what it is with Arsenal. Mm -hmm. Now we've gone on to what, nine seasons with, with Arsenal not winning anything. Yeah. Said, I, I, at least you go and struggle for Capital One Cup like Chelsea. Are <laughs> 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 the owners of Arsenal happy with Arsenal Wenger? Oh yes, yeah, they are. yes, yeah. So who are you to complain? Yeah. But at the end of the day, let me tell you something. At the end of the day, the, for the fan, the fan wants to see his goals, mm -hmm. he wants to see good football, and he wants to see the trophies. Yeah. You get me? So if the owner is happy with the, with the manager, that's fine. But at the end of the day, there are a certain group of people, there are large numbers of people who are following you and are making sure that your coffers are getting filled to a certain extent mm -hmm. because of uh, what role they play in terms of bringing revenue to the club. So... Uh, their sentiments also have to be factored in. And, you know. Okay, this is why I want to say, do you fear some? What's happening to your <laughs> Um You see, you see, there's there's a certain emergence of a you certain. You know what fact. this guy did when Mitch scored that goal? He was some blackberry bluffing that Chia Swansea, who are Swansea. <laughs> there you are. 
No, but I look. It's it's no. You know, let me tell you something. Mm. Um, Chelsea is has gone through a certain phase. The, the phase worst where there was to have thick won the African, Champions League. Hold on. Yeah, 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 yeah. But you see, and that is what makes us an exciting team. Yes. Yeah. 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 something because they, they created a history. Seriously. Yeah. yeah because if you look at the the, the that they were shambolic. I mean, they were see, shambolic throughout have the, you forgotten, the campaign. Have you forgotten that we kicked out the defending champions? We denied them. So what? Yes. And it so even what? led. A certain even push, met you right after the Champions League. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't worry. Don't will come to our camp. We'll beat everybody else to it. <laughs> we we'll use you Russian oil Corinthians, money. Corinthians, <laughs> you couldn't do anything. Oh my God. Uh, we are just looking for the Champions League. We just want that one star on the jersey. Yeah, so you're going to use the I mean, one the star Cup. in Europa? Well, Europa. Manchester United played in Europa, remember? Yeah, the Mickey Mouse League. Yeah, I, 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 I struggle to watch Alex Ferguson but chewing why? his gum very vigorously why? Why? Why on the Europa you pitches. Chelsea you know, you Europa. have to patronize United <laughs> games. Oh, you also, you no, also do, honestly speaking. No, I don't. Anyway, so why, why did you support Barcelona? Is it a childhood Uh Yeah, I, I actually grew up enjoying their style of play okay. and um, while I was coming up actually people around me were supporting Barcelona and you see as a kid you like to go where your elders are and uh, learn for them and while I was coming up I saw their style of play was really fantastic and over the years it has really improved and a lot of teams are itching to learn the way Barcelona play um, football is all about fun yeah. It's fun, and um, the way they play. But even it took a certain Chelsea to stop you. With how many defense? They packed the bus, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> but still, they beat you. I wouldn't say they beat me. Whether they, they won the game. Hundred, hundred. I would. I wouldn't say they beat me. They won the game. So what's they the beat difference? You? It was. It was. It was. It was. What is the difference between we winning beat the you game? And we won the game? Beating me was like you outclassed us. Yeah, but, but they won. But at the end they of the won. game, the records show that we. But, yeah, yeah, it that's shows. The most but but when he said Guardiola <laughs> into retirement, early retirement. No, he, he already planned that before that game. Yeah, yeah he, already he already planned, planned it, it. But I'm sure that you we, know there was, there was a lot of sentiment saying you know stay on a little bit, and he would have reconsidered if it were if we hadn't beaten him. Trust yeah. me. You know, look, let me tell you something. I mean, we we know our problems and we are dealing with them. What I was saying was that there is there is a certain you know thing that Chelsea is always identified that strong African presence, at least for within the last 10 years, we've seen strong African presence in the team. I'm glad for the discovery of somebody like Victor Moses. I think he's, an, uh, he's a great he's player. He's a great player. Yeah. He's going to grow up to be time, outstanding. Definitely, definitely. Yeah. With time, but he should time, be able I'm to sure play. Have left Chelsea. Yeah. For now, we're, we're dealing with Swansea and the like. We're struggling for Capital well, One you Cup. Have it's bar. fine. It's fine. But let me tell you, um, I'm expecting a lot of, um, a lot of Suarez magic on, on Sunday. I say that because you know, take him or leave him. Suarez is just Suarez. I think that is about time the football world have, had accepted him for what they he is. It's just like a Balotelli really? or, or, you know, a Gennaro Gattuso, just like oh, we're talking about. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know, it, it, we, we just accept him the way he is. I was watching his last handball and it was so pathetic. Yeah. You know, he should just go to Thierry Henry and learn a few lessons. Sometimes you need to come back and apologize for doing things like that. It's very painful, especially when you're on the other side. Very, very painful. But hey, it's going to be a great game. But look... I think Manchester United have the edge. Look, let's be very plain and very. Tom Percy with the boys. Yeah. Yeah. I thought you were going to give me a hug for saying that. A kiss for you. Um, you blew me a kiss. <laughs> yeah. Well, you want you want me to kiss. You. Um, I didn't say. You that. Want French Can we kiss? go ahead? Can okay, we go ahead good. with the discussion? How about you, Sunday, <laughs> Super Sunday? I'm expect. I know. Wait, I know. Who, who I... is Chelsea playing today? Um, some. Too much for a fun. No, the thing is, <laughs> I I can't really be bothered now. Truthfully speaking, I can't be bothered now. I, I, I was very disappointed with our coach uh, in our last game because I was expecting him to field Dembaba instead of Torres. I was like, why field Torres again? Torres is a great player. What uh, do you mean? Not now. Oh, he not is. Now. I not love now. Torres. First game of Dembaba, he scores two. Torres mm -hmm. played how many games 30. before scoring one? Like, really? Oh, give him a break, please. He's just lost some confidence. We he will we, be back. We, we don't when you played we Aston don't. Villa, you said um, Torres was back. No, he should stay there. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's go for some tits bits and then we'll continue with our discussion and talk about Lionel Messi and um, the darling boy, Cristiano Ronaldo. Well, we'll start off with um, Pueja Samoa and um, uh, Sako Fua has been saying that he's convinced that Kojo can play a key role in Ghana's quest to end the 31-year 
wait for a fifth continental title. Okay, very soon we'll hear from our captain, Asamoa Jan, who says that uh, he wants to improve his poor goal scoring record at the AFCON as he looks to lead the Stars to their fifth title, though he will no longer take penalties. I want to shout amen to that. But did, you see, Amin, did you see how he celebrated? Did you see how he celebrated after he scored that goal against Egypt? No. And I hear that that that, that does is called monk or something like that. Ah, yeah. Monk, monk. That's the term. Yeah. yeah. Well. <laughs> but you know, there's one thing about there's one thing about Asamoah Jan mm. that you know, like I like I was talking about Suarez. I just think that we should just accept the man the way exactly. he would bring you pain sometimes, yeah. sometimes, and you bring you you know so the happiness us, sometimes. Yeah. yeah. Look. If you watch the goal critically, the goal that he scored against Egypt, you realize that he took his time and placed the ball, and the goalkeeper almost blocked it out. Nat, let me pick your thoughts on this, all three of you. I mean, this is the FIFA 11, more like Barcelona and Real Madrid Madrid. 11. That's like a blow to the EPL, to Syria, to the Bundesliga, to the French League 1, isn't it? How, how come? I was very disappointed because I was expecting to see maybe Rooney or Van oh, no, Persie. Forget about Rooney. I thought Ashley Cole yeah, should have been in there. Yeah, it was yeah. it was just uh, a Barcelona and Madrid compilation. Yeah. Well, you know what? There's also one thing. Let's not uh, you know belabor it. I, I think that sometimes a lot of people sit back and say the English Premier League is the best league in the world in terms of quality. I think that, you know, um, it's there in Spain. I mean, yeah, uh, several, several, you know, we, we've got, everybody has, you know, several, you know, misgivings about having a totally, you know, a to- totally Spanish team making up the yeah. FIFA 11. But hey, well, it's FIFA, they, they've decided, so. Well, well, how about you? Um, I see one person who is really not supposed to be there, who? Gerard Piqué. Uh, he's been on injury. For a long time, yeah. and he just came back. What's he doing on the list? I, I yeah. really don't get it. But the rest of them, I think they are perfect. I'll call the EPL the most watched league in the world, not the best. That's, that's all. Seriously. Very well marketed. With the biggest, Seriously. yeah, with the biggest hype as not, well. Not, not, so, yeah. the, not the best. Mm. Yeah. And the biggest egos. Mm-hmm. Very, much. <laughs> Very much. I disagree. I think the EPL is the most competitive. You can always predict who's going yes. to win La Liga. Yes, very true. Really, you can always. I mean, who would have thought Swansea would beat Chelsea, Chelsea. Norwich will beat Manchester United, you know, Stoke will beat Liverpool. But in La Liga, you always know that Real Madrid He's or, or Barca is going to beat, uh, what's the name of that team? Vela what? Viadolid. Real Viadolid. 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 Yeah. yeah, exactly. Hey, and okay, you were asking about the team that uh, Chelsea is going to play. We're going away to Stoke today. I'm showing it on my channel. You can come and watch with me. Oh, yeah, enjoy sports. Actually, <laughs> I, I'll be spending that time fasting. Viadolid <laughs> 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 is getting a brace, and then yeah. the third goal. So let's let's start. Uh, let's start by watching it on my channel. Well, it's uh, you know Chelsea Stoke. Look. Are we you will, promoting we, your channel on my channel? No, 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 but hey. <laughs> <laughs> Just like you, you do when, you, when you're doing the movie awards and all of that. Exactly. Sponsored by TV. <laughs> <laughs> um, I mean, these are the fixtures. Oh, let's talk about this game before I ask you. Well, yes. Now, this is the thing about this game. You know, anytime I see this fixture, I'm reminded of the year 2005, when Cesar Sojones Atukwefu was uh, in charge of Liberty Professionals and they played Kotoko at the same venue at the Accra Stadium. Mm. Now, um, I remember Faye Ansah had just died and a certain, un- a very unknown uh, Kwame Obinda came in there and scored three goals, three unanswered goal- goals against Kumasi Asante Kotoko. Of course, it was the man Cesar Sojones Atukwefu in charge of Liberty and it was a great day for the few fans of Liberty Professionals and I, I just think that they'd want to repeat, you know, that feat, you know, tomorrow when they meet Kotoko. But hey, the stakes are higher. You know, Masoud Dramani did is still trying to build a team. Um, the title defense hasn't been easy for them at all, yeah. especially because of the switch in 
the, the, the leadership of the technical team at right. Kotoko. So it surely is going to be a very tough game. Uh, George Lamte also wants to make a very big case for himself, especially after, you mm. know, Coach... Um, uh, the man, the Shapiro himself, Coach uh, J. E. Sapong, left Liberty Professional. So it's it'll be interesting be tomorrow. Game. It'll be an interesting game tomorrow. Anyway, let's go for the fixtures for the English Premier League. QPR at home to Tottenham, Aston Villa, Southampton, Everton, Swansea, Fulham also playing Stoke, Chelsea, Reading, West Brom, Sunderland, West Ham, Norwich, Newcastle. And then tomorrow, Super Sunday, Manchester United, Liverpool, and then Arsenal and Manchester City. Come on, Arsenal! You can beat City, just like we are beating Liverpool tomorrow. You know what I like about Manchester City? Somebody said I was a Manchester City supporter. Yeah. You know their captain's head? You know the size of his head? Oh. I mean, when you have an aerial tussle with him, oh. you have to just be... <laughs> that was just by the way. The Belgians <laughs> won't love you for this. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that was just by the way, you know. Anyway, so, well... This is where we have to leave it. Thank you so much for passing through. Nathaniel Lato, I hope you find a wife very soon. I, 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 I have a wife. Why? If I have... <laughs> Ah, but the last time you said you were single and still single. When, when did we have this conversation? Like ah, three years ago. Three? Yeah. It was last year at your mom's birthday. Hey, well, well, well. Last year's my mom. Oh, this is 20. We're in 2012. Okay. Remember? 2013. We had that party in 2011. Oh, really? Forgotten. Yes. Ah, okay. Now, now, you want me to get okay. trouble. <laughs> Thank you so much for passing through. I You're mean, welcome. it was nice having you here. And uh, keep supporting Nigeria. May they lose, though. Just group stage will be out. Teach our money. <laughs> Thanks for passing through. And no, okay. um, the next time you're on air, please, R2 Beast or Sakodi, dedicate to me. Definitely will. You should be throwing De me something. Definitely please. will. Yeah. Right, so thanks a lot, guys, for passing through. And we'll okay. see you next week with our AFCON edition of the Diva Show. Have a blessed Saturday.